Pay me, pay me, pay me my silver now. Pay me or go to jail. Pay me my silver now. Good morning, good morning, BigSquareRoadDrew.com. It's your morning, Horn of Z's, your sip of chaga. Chaga, copy. Oh, well, I've been out of the loop for the last couple days. I went to the Raider game uh, in Vegas. Very fun. I mean, it's funny because you go there and like half the team, they played the, I was going to say the Redskins, they played Washington. And so with, with the Raiders just moving to Vegas, everybody wants to fly in from the away team as well. So people from Oakland fly out there. People, the weight team fly out there. So you got like equal cheering crowds. Very fun. They lost. Ah, killer in the last seconds. But hey, moving on. Um, why? Why did cryptos get slammed uh, starting, I think, Friday? Why did silver get slammed? Why is silver continuing to be slammed? This is what you pay for with your taxes. This is government work. Um, cryptos were slammed at the exact same time. They issued a terrible jobs report. I, I've been saying forever that you need to have your assets in your own possession and away from the criminals and get ready for zero, everything to zero out price-wise because these exchanges, which are complete frauds, will shut down when the banks shut down. So... Only hodlers will survive. As, as Bitcoin Ben says a lot these days, only hodlers will survive. And that's true for silver and that's true for cryptos. But silver is all about Bank of America. Bank of America, a too big to fail bank, for some reason was short 25 million ounces of silver. And it, it came due and for some reason they delivered it to JP Morgan. For some reason... Why? This is their house account. Give me one reason why a bank, a too big, systemically too big to fail bank, would need to go short 25 million ounces of, of silver. I mean, it, it makes no sense. Where is the fucking regulator? What are you doing? You are running cover for criminal operation. That's what you are doing. Rustin Benham is a criminal and deserves to be brought up on charges. I'm sorry. There is no other excuse. And I'll guarantee you, Ted Butler's right, that it wasn't 25 million. They're short 300 million ounces that they leased from J.P. Morgan. And it'll all come out in the wash. How do they do it? Some other derivative offset that J.P. Morgan will write to Bank of America. And J.P. Morgan will lose hundreds of millions of dollars while Bank of America loses and wins that bet, but loses hundreds of millions on this bet. And then it is a con. It is a flat-out con. Welcome to America, my friends. This is a ridiculous. But, hey, where are we? We're at $22.56. Um, when will it end? When the comic shuts down. We do have a couple dates coming up, though, so you're going to have to hang on for at least the a, a couple really interesting dates coming up. Um, let me show you one of them. It's called the X date, and that would be, don't forget the X date. This is on Zero Hedge by Tyler Durden. It's actually from uh, Rabobank U.S. strategist Philip Marley. Um He's talking a little about stock market. He says, meanwhile, we could be only a week away from the X date, the date at which the U.S. federal government may no longer be able to pay its bills. Remember that the debt limit was raised to $28.88 trillion in October after Republicans blinked. As we explained in Biden's Game of Chicken, the Democrats want to share responsibility for raising the debt ceiling with the Republicans, although the Democrats can still easily raise the debt ceiling through the budget reconciliation. They do not want the electoral vulnerability that comes with the unilateral, unilateral increase in the debt limit. Instead of calling the Democrats' bluff, Senate Majority or Minority Leader McConnell blinked in October and delivered the Republican votes for a temporary increase. How many times have we heard this? How many times have we got right to the point and then, oh, they didn't, they didn't do it? They, they extended, kicked the can down the road. 
since 1913 when we discovered millions of tons of gold in the Grand Canyon and Woodrow Wilson created the Federal Reserve to hide it and kick the can. It was all about kicking the can, kicking the monetary can down the road. Then in the 1970s, Alan Greenspan wrote computer programs so that we didn't even need gold. Gold was no longer necessary, so said the uh, chills of the world. Will it be necessary again? Probably. Do, do any of the gold bugs know how much gold there is? Absolutely not. Not even close. They guess, you know, 200,000 tons, just like uh, Jeff Christian will tell you. Why they believe Jeff Christian is beyond me. I don't know. That's the official number, 200,000 tons. And Jeff Christian is pretty much the only one who spouts that number. And the, the gold, uh, what is it called? The gold, it's a gold.com, I think. Uh, the gold something, the advocacy group for gold. I don't remember the name. They say there's 200,000 tons as well, which is wrong. It's millions of tons. Millions of tons. Look up Chocolate Mountain, Chocolate Mountain Gold, Diane Feinstein and her desert wildlife programs. You know, 40, I think it's 42% of California is locked up in uh, federal, as federal land, 42%. California can never break away from the federal government. They want to hug the Biden administration. But if Trump gets back in, California says, we're going to secede from the union because of the criminal that runs it. Now, most Californians, no, nobody likes him. Nobody likes what's going on in California. Maybe a couple college student professors. College students and professors love this shit. And they somehow got into power. San Francisco is gone. One of the greatest cities of the world. I worked there for decades. Beautiful, fun, vibrant, now is a shithole. Oakland is beyond a shithole now. It's so sad to see what Democrats do, socialists do to a country. We didn't think it could happen here, but voila. I don't know. Something's got to give. So this X date could be, and oh, by the way, it's December 15th is supposedly when they run out. Some people say, oh, anywhere between the 15th and, and the beginning of February. Who knows? But they'll kick the can most likely. But it might just be the Democrats will to put them in a losing position for elections. And that's a good thing, I guess. I don't know. Any way you slice it, it should be hyperinflationary. But we all know what they do when things like that happen. They slam the price. They don't want you to correlate hyperinflation with cryptocurrencies, with the rising price of silver and gold. As far as silver, I think it, I think it's run its course as far as the downdraft. Um, you know, you got to have shorters. And who are the shorters? It looks like just Bank of America. You know, the funny thing is, I don't think it's the $25 million that they paid back. I think it's $250 million that they paid back to J.P. Morgan. But you don't have to put that through the comics. They just want to give that like 10% as a show. Where we can see it is at the end of this quarter, the derivatives for... Uh, Bank of America's silver should drop drastically, drastically. So that's what I'll be looking for. But we won't know that until like second second quarter, I think, next next year. The, the end of the year derivative um, OCC report. It's crazy. We still don't have the numbers from uh, that investment fund that it bought a third of of SLV in the first quarter. And that was, they gave it to him November 15th. Was it take a month for the government to post numbers? Anyway, that's what the world we live in. Oh, let's take a look at cryptos. No, I don't even want to look at it. We're hodlers, remember? Um, slammed a Bitcoin down to near 40,000. I didn't see the, the, the low tick. Um, a lot of people saw it coming. Because some big whale moved in there, probably the U.S. government, um, dumped a bunch of Bitcoin, and then probably bought it back. It's a game. It's con. People send me stuff about uh, the discussions that um, David Morgan is having about cryptos. 
Um, I watched him. I'm not. I'm not in agreement at all with his guess at all. No, Bitcoin is not a security. First of all, um, but there's all kinds of issues. But they are on to a couple good things. You know, they don't. They don't fully understand cryptos. His guests don't. His his expert guests. That's the problem. But the reality is, yes, Tether is a fraud. 100%. All the exchanges are frauds too. They need to shut those down. It's not going to, if you have your crypto in your own possession and you don't worry about price for a while, <clears throat> you're, you're golden, pony boy. You're gold, pony boy. Just keep it in your own possession. Yes, another swing down. The Allgaier, in, the Allgaier indicator was triggered. When Dick, uh, I saw Dick Allgaier taking shots and saying, no, oh, this sucks. That's when you buy. <laughs> I love Dick Algar. He's he's working on a song and he still needs to send me the song. Come on, Dick. Send me the song. Um, so yes, just hang on. We've seen it a million times before. Uh, all the uh, financial media are saying, no, cryptos are dead. How many times have they declared Bitcoin dead? Perfect time to, if you were like waiting for a pullback, there, here's your pullback. Obviously, Theta and Theta Fuel are what you want to buy right now. I think Theta is below five bucks. It's like four something. It probably went below four. Interesting thing about Theta is there's still 65% of the coins that are um, of the Theta tokens that are staked. That doesn't change. It's just it's just play toys. It's just a play game. And it can go up just as fast as it can go down. Hang on. Hodlers unite. All right. So you want to check out something really cool, something I posted last week. I don't know if you guys saw it. It's the Jenny Moonstone discussion discussion of the Bank of America Silver Short. Um, this is just the first part of it. The rest is on the private road. For the private road members, go there. But uh, yeah, we pull some cards on this and go check it out. And it's absolutely 100% true what she sees in the road to route analysis. Um, and we should all be contacting the CFTC saying, what the fuck? A too big... And, and the, the Federal Reserve System that is the... They are the regulator of these banks. Why is the Federal Reserve allowing Bank of America to have 25 million ounces of, short, of a short position? 25 million ounces that it's delivered in one month. What are they doing? Why was that allowed? And if they didn't take that 25 million ounce short position, what would have happened to the price of silver over, these la over this last year? It would have gone up. But this is how... Price suppression works. You get these big banks to naked short or not naked. I don't even know. Give me any justification why Bank of America should have a short position of 25 million ounces of Comex silver. There is no no justification. Anyway, go to roadrooter.com, check that out. Also sign up for the free public road updates. Also subscribe to YouTube. Click subscribe right below here. Let's try to get to 100,000 by the end of the year. I doubt I can make it. I've been stuck at 90-something for a hell of a long time. Anyway, this is Bix. I'll talk to you later.